Okay, so you Lindelof off videos. Using the C solve function on your TI Inspire CAS calculator. This is actually a really cool function and it um it does some things that other calculators can't do. So let's look at it for a second. It solves this kind of problem. So let's say you wanted to know what the square root of negative 25 was. You get answer and you get this mess here that there's no they're all non-real uh, results or non-real solutions. So 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 you say, oh well. Charlie, I know if I can do this, I can use the solve function, and I can just do it this way, and I can put negative 25 in here, make sure that I bump this out with my cursor so I'm not underneath the radical, put the equal sign, put x, comma, x, we've done this a million times, and it says false, so this is a very, very simple way to do this. Instead of using the solve function, use C solve, which is C is for complex, and then if you do the same problem, it will give you the complex solution so or the imaginary solution however we want to talk about that right so here this is super important I, I don't want to beat this to death but make sure you use your cursor right here use your right cursor to get out from underneath that radical otherwise it's going to turn into a show so let's just be really careful so here it is we have we have x equals 5i so there's that complex solution but check this out if I if I used C solve when I didn't have to use, look what would happen. And the answer is absolutely nothing. Let's check this out. So I'm going to use C solve, and I'm going to ask for the square root of 25, which, not being funny, but of course we all know is 5. I moved over, use my equal sign, is equal to x, comma, x, hit enter. So C solve is something you can use anytime because if you don't have a complex solution, the complex part is, is just removed, right? So I hope this is really helpful. I kept this to two minutes and a couple seconds. So um, if you have questions or comments, of course, let me know. And if you haven't already subscribed, will you, will you consider it, please? Also, please check it out. I've done more than 100 videos on this, on this calculator. So thanks for watching.